All right. All right, this is Blaze. We're still at the LA Theater. We have... Yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Dorian, of course. I played uh, Jack Boogalusa on a Ray. He's from Boogalusa, Louisiana. Uh, stationed in uh, Camp Logan, Texas, uh, 1917. Um, Creole. Uh, gentleman um, actually had a really traumatic experience in Boogalusa, uh, violence at the hands of, uh, of, of white townspeople there in Boogalusa and went into the army uh, to escape from that. Left Boogalusa and joined the army and, uh, and ends up in Houston, Texas with all of his comrades uh, dealing with some of the same things that he was dealing with in Boogalusa, Louisiana, but as a soldier. Um, so, for me, it's been an extraordinary experience. I love traveling back in time. I love learning about black history. That's the reason why I got into theater. Um, and, and allowing, you know, allowing this character to teach me about what life was like doing no, that no, time. I noticed it was sort of like a rhythm between you all, like family. Uh, can you elaborate on what I'm thinking of, you know, the notion I have of this? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's, it's, um... It's, it, you grow together as a team, you know, any team, any uh, group of soldiers, and then the acting team grows and creates kind of a, uh, a camaraderie amongst themselves, working together hours and hours uh, on the show. Uh, so after a while, the characters that you're playing and the energy between the actors become a chemistry uh, and then develops into a brotherhood. The beauty of it is that we're creating, recre recreating the brotherhood between uh, between soldiers, African American soldiers that came from all over the country. So, so tell me about the writer, director, and uh, Ben Gillen. I mean, well, Ben is basically a pillar in the LA community. Uh, the Roby Theater Company is a pillar for African American artists to come and and develop their skills, playwrights as well as actors. So let's bet from Walker, uh, her production, her play is basically ideal for the Roby because that's what the Roby does. African-American, uh, they bring the African-American experience to life, basically. So, so it's a great partnership. You know, I'm, I'm going to let it go. Just tell us how long the play is going to run here. The play will run from uh, April 28th until May 28th. We have about an, uh, a month of shows uh, to, to show to the L.A. community. Now, I did read the blog, and you've had a number of interesting roles. Tell us a little bit of who might as well touch upon some of your past roles. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've done um, I've done quite a bit of, of African-American playwrights. Uh, Blue Front, Alabama Sky. Um, there's Yellow Man, which is really one of my favorites. And then went into, you know, some Shakespeare. Done quite a bit of Shakespeare as well. Macbeth, Julius Caesar, everything. I so, so, so we got an actor here. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me what it is and I'll do it. Hey, you got an, yeah, I mean, you have an artist. My main commitment is to, to bring uh, theater to the stage that changes people's lives, that, that, that is about social issues uh, that generate thought and, and eventually social change. Uh, so I try to choose those projects. As an artist, sometimes you got to choose the ones that bring the money in, but uh, the ones that um, that really touch my heart are the ones that you know tell tell great stories and that and that change people and provoke thought. This is fantastic. Thank yeah. you very much for your time. Yeah, yeah. Your thank name you. One more time? Dorian Christian Bach. Sorry, Dorian. Yeah. Thank you. Definitely. All right. Kaylin Hunt. I played Harden in the play, Cam Logan, and uh, we just had our opening night. Okay, so tell us a little bit about how you got into that role. Uh, what did you think about him? Because he really had a, a, a faith in people, but he wanted to. He did, but I think, I think growing up, we all have that sort of naivete about the world, and especially college age, we think we know everything. Um, but just reading through the part the first time, like brought me to tears, and then finding out afterwards that like it's a, it's based on a true event. It's it's very powerful. So you want to 
I really, I wanted to really be sure that I brought it justice because I'm playing a part based on real people. Like, they really died because of hatred. Yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah. powerful. There's a very educational aspect of this. So tell me a little bit about yourself as an actor. Myself as an actor? Yeah. Uh, well, Is this a trick question? Uh, I know, right? Uh, well, I, I just, I'm kind of all over the place. I went to film school at USC, uh, but at the same time I started training. So I wanted to be an actor, but I didn't think the theater degree would help so much, but I knew the training helped. So I, I studied a while at the Beverly Hills Playhouse, and I studied a while with Ben Guillory at the Rogue Theater as well. Oh, yeah. um, so I like to always bring sensitivity to my roles, even if they're not sensitive people. There's, there's something underlying, some underlying motivation that like comes from deep within. Like I always try to find like what that is, and I just play on the nose. Like caricatures, I like to like to make them human as much as I can. In closing, I would like to thank Celeste Walker for writing this wonderful, human, amazing story about these colored troops in Houston. And I would like to thank Alex Morris, uh, the director, for being for sticking with the project for so long. It's been with them for like. Years and years, if he wanted to, he just wanted to direct it, and so it's, I thank him for bringing this to life, and I thank Ben Guillory and the other producers, Vital Davis, Julius Tenen, for believing in the story and wanting to have it seen. It's it's been a tremendous opportunity, and I, I I'm just indebted to to everyone who's helped bring this to life. Really enjoy your work. Thank you very much. Thank you. I love your necklace. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs>